Wits and blades always sharp. Let's see what I can spirit away.
Don't touch me. On the hunt. Let's go. More skirt. I bite. Step quick. Oh, for a skeleton key. in death.
of time till we're served up to the necromancer on a platter. Let me guess. The absolute is the only way. Don't bother. Why don't you and Zevlor take a long walk off a short cliff? He made it? He's all right? told you. He's too stubborn to die. If you're not at the Absolute's beck and call, why are you here? Gnomes next door are up to something. They've been whispering like mad. Whatever it is, we're in. Don't leave us in here. Have you slept at all? Have you? Fair point. Nimble. Check for gaps, cracks, anything to leverage the rock. Nickels, tools. Get creative. This rock is basalt. It'll crack with enough pressure. Ah! Don't mind us, true soul. The back wall is weak. We're working to brace it. Barkus is out here? Mm, didn't think he had the stones. Well, if he sent you, you're no slave to the Absolute. You're a damn wolf among sheep, aren't you? <laughs> I reckon you and I were meant to meet. I'm Wilbrun. We've got a plan. For us and the Tieflings both. But we're scuppered without the right equipment. We need tools. That head case of a warden robbed ours. But anything that breaks rock will do even if it's not iron hand quality. Whatever you find, throw it through the bars. But for the love of Gerdo, make sure a guard doesn't see you, or we're both done for. The stone, I feel it. This is Hollow it. behind the back wall, and beyond. Water. Good work. We're gonna wait until it's quiet, and then bust out the back wall. We'll grab the tieflings along the way. We'll need them if it comes to a fight. You, however, are the clincher. Once we move, keep the patrols busy. If the bastards spot us, all of bloody Moonrise will come down on us. We'll move once it's quiet. Until then, be ready. delay.
good. Wretched thing. Pull yourself together. If not over, then through. Boat's good to go. All that's left is to ship off. My plan for now is to hide out on the water. Unless you have a better idea. Safe? That's no small claim in these parts. Lead the damn way. the dark until time skill or luck brings you to last light's dock hold there you can't just land and start unloading strangers they're procedures damn it no one gets in without being tested commander jahira's orders Here, form a line. Let's see if the Absolute's little pet recognizes any of you. The Absolute's what? What are you doing? If what you said is true, no one has anything to fear. If not, well, we'll soon find out. Now, form a line. I'll not ask again. That's it. This won't take long. Welcome to Last Light.
Need anything? I'll be here if you need it. If you're all right by Jahira, you're all right by me. Take care now. Hmm? Oh, uh, I, I don't need anything else. Thanks. Barry. Was there something else? Everyone seems to be quite a flutter. Do you know why? He... what? Uh, you're... <laughs> Excuse me. Wolverine! Oh, where is he? I heard you might be about. How the devil did you get stuck here, Barkas? <laughs> I'm not stuck. I came to find you, of course. Why would you do a foolish thing like that? Really, Barkas? <laughs> Unfortunately for me, you're my friend. Rescuing you from mortal peril is my right. <sighs> but you didn't rescue me, did you? I rescued myself. With the aid of this helper. Ah, it's you. I should have guessed. Thank you very much for your help finding Wolbrin. You don't belong here, Barkus. As soon as the way is clear, pack up and head to Baldur's Gate. But, w Wolbrin, the rune powder. We need to discuss what you're going to. I said go home! Please, that, that isn't necessary. Indeed. Neither of you has any clue what's at stake. And, and why should you? It's Iron Hand Gnome business. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a great deal to do. Well, there we have it. Walbrin is safe and sound. Thanks to you. I owe you a great deal. The brilliant retort, for starters. Here you are. As promised, I give you the brilliant retort. Now, I believe our business is well and truly concluded. Uh, don't judge him too harshly. He's been through a lot. When he's had some rest, he'll be back to his usual self. Uh, well, uh, once you're used to someone, you're used to them. Well, uh, perhaps Wolbrin is right. Perhaps I ought to return to, to Boulder's Gate. Uh, 
Oh, that's all right. I'm a patient fellow. I'm, I'm sure you'll clear a path for everyone. Soon enough. Yes? Now I'm sure you would. You're good to have humored Barkers for so long. The poor fellow is like creeping moss, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm sure, but that's his business. Now, is there something you want? I'm a busy man. Surely Barkus will take care of that. I have plans in Baldur's Gate. The work of many years' labor that will finally bear fruit. You should look for me once we're in the city. The name Wolverine Bongle will be mentioned among many, I've little doubt. We will. The Iron Hand Gnomes have survived worse. I am more than a part. I am its oil and gears. I am its purpose, its leader. We are inventors of the highest order, matched, perhaps, but never surpassed by the Gondians at the High House of Wonders. But our forebears were foolish, complicit with Saravok's madness over a century past. And so, we were banished. We still are to this day. The very one. It's the only mistake the Iron Hand Gnomes ever made. And it cost us everything. I have fought tooth and nail to restore our reputation. Particularly against the Gondian detractors who live in glass houses. Our return to Baldur's Gate will usher in a new era for the Iron Hand Gnomes. The realm deserves the benefit of our genius. Oh, we hail from the same village in the Underdark. We're hung about in the same passel of children. Barkus tends to make more of it than it is. Appreciate it. Don't let me delay you. Depends on the question. Appreciate it. I suppose this place will do for now. Better than a cell in the towers at the very least. I'd thank you for your help, but I doubt you need to hear such trivialities. So I'll just say, fare thee well. We made it safe. Firm ground. Thanks to you. Won't forget it. Not by foot. We're bruised. The shadows haven't consumed you. Good. A search burdened by unnatural darkness. But don't let that discourage you. Yes? What can I get you? Pleasure. Last light's best bargain, right here. Do 
Did you enjoy relaxing here while I battled that wretched darkness? What were you thinking? I'm sorry, we got captured by murderous lunatics! I thought you were dead, you ass! Both of you! We're all safe, Roland. That's what matters. I was just overwhelmed. Doesn't matter. I'm sorry. We should have been here. No, no, it's it's not your fault. I, I shouldn't have shouted. I'm sorry. Thank you for saving me. And the two idiots. Humble too? Imagine that. He has no cause to be humble. He's brought us back together. A task I failed miserably at. You went out of your way to help us. It's only right you get something in return. Here. I hope it helps. I've thanked you once already. Thank you. I'm not the best at showing it, but I love Cal and Roland to death. Their family, thank you for bringing us back together. Good to see you're still breathing. Wonder if I could con some gold off that cleric. Things in Moonrise were bad. Real bad. Thank you for getting me out of there. If this is about Roland, go away! He acts like he wished we weren't here. Like he wished he hadn't saved us. And now we're just trying to save him from drinking himself stupid. Yeah. He did save us, after all. Anyway, it's his loss. I found this book. Old, dusty, full of strange lettering. Pretty sure it's magic. I was gonna give it to Roland so he could learn new spells, you know? Beats drinking till he forgets the ones he knows. It's for Roland. Guess you can have it then. I don't care. Anyway, I'm sick of talking. I tried telling Mr. Roland that he'd had enough too. I've thanked you once. I'm here, darling. I was so scared I'd lost you. Me too. But we're here now. Safe. <laughs> Credit where it's due. Bex, this is the one who helped me and the others escape. This isn't the first time you've helped us. Saved our lives, really. Why? Here, we're fighting for our lives, and you're working on your memoir. Well, I'll take it. After all you've done. We'll never forget it. 
Never ever. Here. Take these for the road. It's the least I can do. So... Shall we go for a walk? Thank you. So... Beck said the god. Shall we go for a walk? Spend a long Thank you for help. Poor you and an honor to battle it. He was joking this morning. Jonas, I mean, he was always joking. He was a good harper. A good friend. We were. I thought we could have been something more. Too late now. I don't know. I'm sorry. Hope you're faring all right. This might be the only peaceful spot for a league. You have other matters to pursue, surely. Swift as my feet can carry me.
Need anything? I'll be here if you... Can't afford to stay idle. Eager for battle. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. No one stopped me yet. Have they should first. all be running. Let's see what this does. feet.
I bet that will fit in my pack. A new face come to bask in the light of the Absolute. How can I be of service, true soul? Of course. Just before some godless lunatic purged the place of every innocent soul. A pity neither of us saw what happened. Nothing worth repeating. Corpses don't much go in for commerce. Here, though, look around. All manner of beasties united against the enemies of the Absolute. Quite a god to bring them all together, and quite a fool who draw their ire. Hmm? An honor. He's looking over. I'll feed him his own loincloth. These are our allies, Erna. I'll handle the diplomacy. You just keep looking. Looking ahead. And the dream Ever at your service.
in order. It's Roa you want. We only talk when you've misbehaved. Sister. And this was funny when it was just goblins branding asses, but you lot mean business, eh? Very well. Can you hear her? Each pack of recruits they bring in is worse than the lark. Can't trust them to sweep the stables, let alone swing a sword. Not for me to say. All I know is they're bloody useless round here. No doubt. Isn't for me to question them above me. I'm sure you know your business. I'll see they get all the help they need, true soul. Back of the line. I'll be the first of us to swear to the general. Not all of us survive the shadows to stand here. The Absolute herself called us here. You're one of her blessed, aren't you? Dream in red. If you have coin, then show it. Get moving. But maybe whole tower. Like, like, like we inside meat. Mig eat meat, or meat eat mig. Don't mind Megan her meat sounds. 
It's just her brain slopping around in her skull. Don't mind if I do. You'd find better lodgings out in the war camp, Trousseau. I know we're all one under the absolute, but you do not want to bunk with an ogre. Yours is a face I shred in my dreams. One who kicked the steel claw as if I were some stray. I am a champion hunter. When I lick my pelt, I taste blood. Fortunately for you, the slithering vermin I hunt is my attention. For now. The Death Walker passed through here before. I know your scent. All were silent before you, but I dared to snarl. You skunk. Own the place trespassing on my domain. You excavate the empty caverns of your useless mind, shoveling, dozing, blasting through the smooth brain. How the kitty cat mewled when your boots stamped upon its tail. You are the black cat crossing the path of the living. The pleasure of the memory dribbles out of your leaking skull into the very air. A memory won at the cost of a piece of your mind. You were in this tower before, that much is sure.
hands before me. Serve her. There is only the absolute. Plenty of supplies if you're running low, true soul. In her name. We are favored. The blessed will conquer all. Goes nothing. Sister, pray with me while we Another welcome, true soul. The disciple will have work for you, I expect. So much to be done. A bunch of the others were rounded up in the main hall a while ago. They ain't come back. Wouldn't head into the main hall if I were you. Heard a rumor some do-gooder stopped a horde of absolutists from getting their hands on a load of druids in some grove. Whoever it was, better pray the general doesn't smoke them out. Be a bloodbath, so it would. seems to be dripping from the rafters above. Ah! <laughs> 
A moment, true soul. You use a spoon to stir the soup, Barnabas. Forget the axe, my darling. Now, how can I help you? I've shown Barnabas a kinder way. A kinder name is only fitting. That is the gift the Absolute gave me when I stood before her. To rewrite the lives of her faithful. Make them believe there's something better. She gathers many threads for her design. But it is still her design. And Barnabas has found his place in it. Observe. Barnabas, sweetie! Come show what a good boy you are! What would you like him to do? The prayer, I think. Barnabas struggles with civilized speech, but he's been practicing. You feel her will surge outwards and envelop the creature, inexorable as the tide. <laughs> simply snaps. No! Barnabas, darling. No! There's an illithid parasite in the... All trace of restraint is gone. Barnabas has tasted blood and wants more. To your surprise, instead of ravishing you, he grovels with a howl of pining awe. No! She sees everything we are. Do you understand? There is no hiding from her. There's I. Araj Oblodra, trader in all things occult. 
A very great pleasure to meet you, true soul. Should you be interested, I have a particular offer I'd like to make. But plainly, I'd like your blood. A vial of true soul's blood, specifically. With one drop, I can brew a rather potent potion for you. The rest, I keep for myself. No one gave it to me. Rather ironically, it runs in the bloodline. We, a Blodras, are naturally curious folk. Always have been. You realize why the name rings familiar? House of Blodra was purged a century ago by an alliance of rival drow houses. Among the many crimes tallied against them, their reckless experimentation with illithid breeding stock. Blessed by the absolute, but not blinded by it. Now I simply must study you. The beings you speak of have no use for gods. And yet here we stand in a church of their making. Unless they are not the makers, but simply the means. Wouldn't that be a secret worth knowing? So let me adjust my offer. Your blood and your silence. In exchange for the potions I mention, and a tidy pile of gold besides. No idea, but it will be unique to you. Your blood essence and the Absolute's blessing intertwined. We can learn exactly what that means together, hmm? Just a little prick and it's all over. Close your eyes. A little pain for a lot of gold. And... There we are. All of your very best traits. In a bottle. Use it well. And, if I may, would you have a moment to discuss another more personal matter? Truth be told, I heard tell of your coming before you arrived. Catherick's dogs prowl far and wide round the tower. I know you travel with a delightful Nightwalker in your retinue. Please, I have a proposal for him. I will reward you both, handsomely. I will speak of it when he is here, not before. But it will be to your advantage. I promise. I... I must prepare myself for his arrival. Welcome back, true soul. You've come in the spirit of trade, I hope.
come back any time. is at stake, considering how close we are to the conclusion of our efforts. Subtle steps. I never thought I'd see one in real life. I read about your kind for so many years, but you are a finer specimen than any beastery could describe. You're really a vampire, at least one of their spawn. Oh, don't worry. We're all friends under the absolute. I won't bite. Oh, I'd prefer if you did. And he's yours to command. My envy is palpable. I'm sure he really believes that. How utterly adorable. Do you have a name, Spawn? Uh, Astarian, but hold on. Good. Now, Astarian. I've dreamt of being bitten by a vampire since I was a young girl. Uh, I'm sorry, you want to be bitten? To feel your life's blood slipping away. To dance on the edge between life and death. Yes, I want it. I'll even compensate you. A potion of legendary power that forever increases the strength of the one who consumes it. It's not for sale. But it's yours, if you bite me. I will have to decline. <laughs> Excuse me? This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and you're squandering it. I gave you my answer. Uh, can't you talk some sense into your obstinate charge? I'm sorry, but could you excuse us a moment? Are you actually asking me to do this? Trading me for some, some, some potion? Because there's something wrong with her blood. I can smell it from here. It's rank. I can't say. It just smells wrong. Unnatural. Drinking it wouldn't kill me, but it would not be pleasant. I don't have all day, true soul. <sighs> 
Fine. I'll do it. Darling, I've had a sudden change of heart. After all, who could resist such a delectable neck? Hold very, very still. I feel exquisite, though. So here's my part of the bargain. I hope you find it as satisfying as I found this. It was everything I imagined, and then more. I'll be able to put this to good use. You're staring at me again. What do you want? Welcome back, true soul. You've come in the spirit of trade, I hope. Welcome back, true soul. Oh? Well, I'm afraid I have quite enough for my purpose. If you know of any other true souls willing to aid my research, though, do send them. Arage au Blaudre. Should you be interested, I have a particular offer. With one drop, I can brew a rather potent potion for you. The rest... I keep for myself. Just a little prick, a little pain. There we are. now. Dread likely.
throb, blood whispers. We need to find a way forward. Mind never quiet. Should mind my step. Nothing hurts anymore. How many die today? How many die tomorrow? What to do? Indolence breeds madness. Let's move. My faith will guide me. Let's get going. No time to dally. What a day. Action, not reaction. I've got a long road ahead. Need anything? I'll be here if you need anything.
Still breathing, despite everything. Never a dull moment. Must log my guts through this hell.
I will not be slandered! General, you saw my reports. You know it's not my fault. The facts suggest otherwise. You were ordered to retrieve the artifact. You failed to do so. If I had been given drow warriors instead of goblin trash! Oi! What? You sprang! Enough! A blast of mental energy washes over you, filling the room. Your tadpole squirms, urging you to obey. Let me make sure I understand this. You're claiming that General Thorm gave you the wrong soldiers. Yes. No! You blame the Absolutes chosen for your failure. Of course it is not the General's fault. Whose then? The Goblins. They failed me. They failed us all. You lying little! And what would you do to those that have failed you? They are put to death, obviously. True. Ultimate failure must earn ultimate punishment. Night Warden Minthara, your crime is incompetence, and your sentence is death. No! Make her passing slow, Disciple Zarel. Be creative. As the General's attention shifts to you, a memory stirs. A memory of this room, and his voice raised in anger. I'm surprised to see you again, true soul. You are here to assist and not to meddle, I trust. I would remind you that while in my halls, you obey me just as you would any other chosen. What say you about our Minthara? It is fitting that one mad dog should judge another. As if more evidence were needed. Take her below. No! Please! Mercy! Please! <laughs> bye bye, princess. Kill the goblins, too. What? No! You creaking old bag of shit! <laughs> I'm so sorry, my lord. She's an unbeliever outside my control. Try again. Dispose of the rest as you see fit. Or better yet, let us take advantage of our surprising guest and their particular creative genius. I'm sure the results will send a clear message to the troops on the importance of discipline. Of course, my lord. Thank you. You heard the general. The goblins are yours. Deal with them however you wish. They are yours. You can release them, kill them, or feed them to each other for all I care. Just deal with them. Here in the seat of the Absolute's power, your authority over them is complete. They will obey any command. Report to me upstairs when you're done. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
You ain't going to do anything drastic, are you? We've been nothing but loyal. the lifetime you were greeted in this throne room like a god not the living wreck you are now your disgrace has something to do with this Catherick. you yearn to flay him until he forgets himself as you have with difficulty you banish the pooling evil that bewitches your quivering limbs Perhaps parts of you were scattered in this spire. Time to knit yourself together. The seat of the Absolute's power. Occupied by a general that cannot be killed. But his followers are flesh and blood. We must learn more about his power. General Thorm's prayers and preparations must not be disturbed. The rooftop is off limits to everyone. Even you, Disciples Realm? Everyone. Keep watch and ensure that nobody passes. Excellent timing, true soul. The goblins. Tell me how they suffered. No. Better yet. Show me. Her mind enters yours abruptly, flickering across your memories in a blaze of excitement. A pool of warmth spreads through your mind as she settles on the memory of you commanding the goblins to die. Oh, I like you. That was inventive and efficient. Your confidence is delicious. I can see why the Absolute might be hungry to dig deeper into that mind of yours. I certainly am. She parts the folds of your mind again, touching your wants and hopes, tasting them. Every emotion soaks into her mind's palate. But there is purpose to her exploration. She is searching for proof of your faith. There is a tremor of shared ecstasy as she finds a mirror to her own desire. Perfect. You crave what all true souls should, to be touched by the Absolute. I have already been blessed to stand in her presence. It was bliss. She gave me everything I wanted. Hmm, why not? What's the point in power if you don't get to have a little fun every now and again? She gave me the power to cut the thread of life with a thought. But I can caress as well as cut. That's why you should stay on my good side. And the best way to do that is to serve General Thorn. I have a mission for you. That's it. Play along. The closer you can get to the General, the closer you'll be to the answers you seek.
There is a relic that General Thorm requires. He sent his most trusted advisor, Disciple Balthazar, to retrieve it. The relic is beneath the Thorm family mausoleum. That is where you will find Balthazar. But we have lost contact with him. Go there. Aid Balthazar if you can. And bring the relic home. And I accompanied him. It was destroyed shortly after he left Moonrise. Hardly a surprise. We're protected here, but outside the shadows are hungry. The shadows around the mausoleum are deep and hungry. You'll need a moon lantern to survive them. Take one from Balthazar's chambers. But don't pry. The last person who snooped into his secrets lost their head. I believe he uses it as a chamber pot. The tower doesn't stink like an overstuffed cemetery. Which means Balthazar hasn't returned. So why are you here instead of out there looking for him? Oh good. I love answering questions. It is something that General Thorm desires, and that he has ordered us to retrieve. That is all you need to know. She's suddenly nervous, on edge. Talking about the relic makes her anxious. the relic must hold to be of such importance general thorn will not leave moonrise without it fine talk to the bugbear quartermaster tell him he's to share my secret stash with you have i not been clear Find Balthazar, and more importantly, the relic he holds. Neither of which, you'll notice, are here. Death would not silence Balthazar for long. But dead or alive, he is lost. Whatever Balthazar is looking for, it's crucial to the war effort. <laughs> 